I really like buying old marketing books. I'm talking about the ones that you really can't go buy on Amazon anymore. You gotta go scour through eBay. You kinda have to know what you're looking for. And then lo and behold, someone's cleaning out their basement and they're selling this book for 100 bucks and it's this old school marketing book. The reason I love these books is because when you look at some of these cutting edge marketing strategies today that all the gurus tell you about, they're really remixes of the old stuff the tried and true principles that people have totally forgotten about because they're in these books that are no longer for sale with marketers that have gotten out of the game. And this is why I love reading those books because it helps you cut through the fancy shiny stuff to the true principles. The true principles that help you drive growth for a business, whether it be a SaaS business or a different kind of business. And so on today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through three cutting edge marketing strategies, which are really remixes of some tried and true, true principles of marketing that you can deploy today to actually accelerate the growth of your SaaS business. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. That way you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode with actionable strategies to grow your SaaS business with the TK Energy. If you are already part of our community, if you're part of my SaaS go-to-market program, SaaS scale program, SaaS launch program, welcome back. It's seriously awesome to see you over here. Now, I remember when I was getting into the startup game, I was going into starting ToutApp. This was my technically my second company, but you know, this was like the real big one. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take it really seriously. I knew that I had to actually embrace sales and marketing. And in order to do that, I was like, cool, let me just go, like the, the system I have, if I wanna learn the crap out of anything, I'm like, go, let me go buy the top, top 10 books on Amazon and go read them. And once I've gone through that, let me go find 10 people that know about this, take them out to lunch. When I've done that, then let me go find source principles from out of print books and really dig deeper. And so I was in phase one of this, and I remember I bought this book, The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, amazing book, and you'll see over here, uh, I keep all these books, so it's like literally Baby TK signing uh, December of 2009, such a long time ago. And that's when I really started to learn that, you know what, this, wasn't, this is not one of those out of print books, I've got the other out of print books here, but marketing and sales, the principles are tried and true because we're still selling to the same old brain. We're still persuaded in the same ways. And so the older the books went, the more true the principles were. And whenever I read a new book that was like, this is the greatest new way to do strategic marketing, it, I could tie it back to a core principle that these old books talked about and used for hundreds of years, except now they were kind of remixing it in a slightly different way. And that's kind of when I really started to dig into the marketing and sales, that's when I fell in love with it. That's why I love the channel that I build now. That's why I love working with founders on their go-to-market strategies because I just fell in love with the discipline. And when you fall in love with something, you really wanna to get to the truth of it. So on today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through the three principles you absolutely need to adopt three key cutting edge marketing strategies, which are really tried and true principles that have existed for hundreds of years, but that you can deploy today to accelerate the growth of your SaaS business. So if you're excited to dig into principle number one, strategy number one, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's dig right into it. Okay, so principle number one is influencer marketing. This is strategy number one. Now, in reality, influencer marketing is actually nothing new. Here's what you really need to do because you're probably tired of influencer marketing, you don't get it, maybe it doesn't work for B2B, who cares? Here's the tried and true principle that you need to adopt, which is in all the old school books, all the OG marketers use. What you need to embrace is testimonials and referrals. Testimonials and referrals. Meaning you need to go to your top 10, top 20, top 50 customers, and you need to get testimonials out of them. You need to get reviews, videos, written testimonials, whatever it may be. And then you need to actually mobilize that into your marketing mix. And you also need, while they're doing that, you need to ask them like, hey, who would you send this testimonial to? Who would you send this review to? Are there people in your network that would get value from the product as well? And this is something that is so easy. Referral marketing is so easy to actually establish a system around, but it's almost too easy where people are like, oh, that can't, that can't possibly help us grow. In fact, it can. These days with, the, with our go-to-market coaching program, we actually grow a lot faster with word of mouth. Investors send their portfolio companies to us 
other founders that have seen success on the program tell others about it and then boom, founders join. It's through that word of mouth, through testimonials, through reviews, and through them spreading the word that's we're really growing. And that's super powerful. It, it, it feels easy because it, it's pretty easy to implement. You can implement it in probably a day if you have the right framework to follow. But once you do, it can be really, really powerful in driving growth. And when you think about it, testimonials and referrals, hundreds of years it's existed, every business uses it, especially the successful ones. Influencer marketing is just a twist of that. But if you truly get into like, look, your best influences are your successful clients. If you get them to do testimonials, if you get them to do referrals, you're gonna grow a lot faster. So put that into play and you'll start to actually accelerate the growth of your SaaS business. So that's strategy number one. Strategy number two is content marketing. Now, content marketing is still the rage. It's been the rage maybe for 10 years now, but it's still the rage today. Marketing agencies will pitch you on content marketing and how it's the next best thing and how you should start blogging and do SEO, like all that stuff. I get it, it's, it's great, it's totally awesome. It's kind of saturated. But if you go to the tried and true principle, here's the principle, here's the strategy that you can deploy today that will actually help you stand out and grow faster. The true version of content marketing is education marketing. Education marketing. If you think about it, I do education marketing. Like I teach people, I teach people principles, I teach people what I know. We at ToutApp did education marketing because we were creating a brand new category and people didn't know how to actually think about sales engagement. So we taught people how to send cold emails. We taught people how to actually do multiple touches. We taught people through an actual manifesto that we had. For me, I teach you how to grow SaaS businesses. And at the end of the day, if you wanna work with me to grow faster and follow a framework, then you buy. But at the end of the day, it's education marketing. And what you can do in your business, regardless of how competitive you are or how new you are, you can either outspend the competition or you can out teach. And for me, I always prefer to out teach. I would rather teach people what we know, the big transformation we're bringing to the world, how much success we brought to others, how the nuances of it. And what do we teach? people trust us because you can't fake it. You can't fake teaching. You either know it or you don't. And when you start to show that, hey, here's what we can do for you, all of a sudden people will engage and buy your product, buy your software, whatever it is that you're selling, all of it because you're doing education marketing. This is nuanced because content marketing is like, let me just do a blog post every week. Education marketing is let's think about what is the big change we're bringing in? How do we get people to think about that change? And how do we teach them about it? How do we make them aware about it? These are all the core things that are in education marketing that makes a big difference. So that's strategy number two, education marketing. Now let me pause here for a second before we go to strategy number three, principle number three. Are you starting to see the power in this? See all these new tactics and strategies that come out, there's nothing new under the sun. At the end of the day, there's some core marketing principles and sales principles and product principles that work well and have been tried and true for hundreds of years. Now what ends up happening is people take them and try to see how they apply today and try to remix them and try to make it their own thing. And that's fine and that's good, but if you as a leader, if you as a CEO, if you as a founder can cut through that and start to think about, you even as a marketer, I know a lot of marketing people watch this channel as well. You can cut through that and get to the source material and start to think about what are the strategies that have always existed and will continue to exist, they'll always work because it's the same brains that we're operating with just in different mediums, then you start to see how you can rise above and really differentiate yourself. It's about going to the source material. Now, if you're starting to see the power on this, can I just get a yes in the comments below? Seriously, just put a yes in the comments below. It just means the world to us when you do that. Also smash that like button if you haven't already for the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you are building out these pieces and you want a framework to follow, if you wanna figure out how do we actually get a referral program in place, how do we build out education marketing, this is why I created my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. It's a framework that you can follow to actually build out a go-to-market strategy and scale your SaaS business. I'll tell you more about it at the end of this video. Let's go to principle number three. Principle number three is channel marketing. Channel marketing, like uh, honestly, this one's really cool because channel marketing is starting to become the shiny new object thing. Like there's lots of podcasts and there's lots of people coming out and saying, hey, you should do channels. There's products being built. And so what is old is new again. This is shiny and also tried and true. The core of channel marketing is what you're essentially doing is you're saying who are larger companies people, influencers that are already selling to my ideal customers. And how do I go to them, forge a relationship, and use their marketing machine and sales machine to sell my product? 
That's channel marketing. Easy ways of getting into channel marketing is actually going into a marketplace. So say you're selling in the Shopify ecosystem, getting listed in the Shopify marketplace and promoting through there. The Salesforce app exchange marketplace, the HubSpot marketplace, these are all easy ways of starting with channel marketing. Because all of a sudden you're using their channels to actually sell your product. Now there are more advanced ways. You can start thinking about co-marketing, co-selling, reselling, affiliate marketing. There are different ways you can approach these other companies that are not competitive to you, but are still selling to the same group of people you're selling to, and you can actually get scale there. If you wanna dig more into how to build out a channel marketing strategy, I did an entire video on this. You can check it out right over here. Channel marketing for your go-to-market strategy, you can dig more into it. You don't have to go right now, you can, I'll link to it below, don't, don't worry. And so this is one more, cutting edge marketing strategy that you can use today, which has also been tried and true. It's, it's started to come in vogue, partly because this is a little bit black art, like not that many smart people know how to do this really well. They've kind of retired, but now there's people that have like gone through a turn. They're like, oh my God, this is awesome. So they're starting to promote it more, which is, which is great. I'm really happy for channel marketing. So to recap, three cutting edge SaaS marketing strategies that you can deploy today to accelerate the growth of your SaaS business. Number one, testimonials and referrals, put that into play, put a system into place for that. Number two, education marketing, teach the market. Don't try to outspend them. Actually put out a book, a manifesto, a course, whatever it may be, teach them on what the transformation is and then tell them to use your product. And number three, channel marketing. Find the other companies non-competitive to you that are already selling to your ideal customers and work with them. And you can check out that video down below, I'll link to it. Also, while you're here, if you're like, you know what? I can totally see how these three things will help me accelerate the growth of my SaaS business. But you're wondering, where do I start? How, like, how do I start establish a referral marketing campaign? How do I collect testimonials? What am I educating on? What should it entail? If you want a proven framework to follow to implement these strategies, this is exactly why I created my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. Inside of this coaching program, you get the training that you follow to actually implement these key pieces and a scalable go-to-market strategy. You also work with me and my coaching to make sure that you're following the steps in the right way, you're implementing in the right way, you're deciphering the data, and you're making the right strategic decisions. And you also get hooked into my community of SaaS CEOs who are following the same framework as you to rise above. This is super powerful. So if you're interested in joining my SaaS go-to-market coaching program to accelerate the results, to implement these key pieces, then I invite you to go to tkcater.com slash GTM. Over there, you can book a call with me. We can get on a call. We can discuss exactly where you are in your SaaS business. We'll review the answers to some questions we asked while you were booking the call so I can figure out if I can help you or not. And then based on that, if we're a good fit, we're off to the races. We can start building and implementing your go-to-market strategy and scaling from there. Just go to tkcater.com slash GTM to book a call with me. I'm super pumped to meet you and actually figure out if we can help you through the go-to-market program. Also, if you got values from this video, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I drop an episode like this two to three times a week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already, that way you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode. If you have a fellow founder, a team member, other, other founders that you know that are building SaaS businesses and that would get value from this, please share this video with them. It'll mean the world to me and my team. Put a lot of love into these videos. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business. When you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, and I'll see you in the next episode. If you are already part of our community, if you are part of my SaaS scale, that's probably going in the blooper. There we go.